Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for supporting Lupus LA. I'm Chris Pagula, and I am honored to present the Daniel J. Wallace Founders Award tonight. Anyone who knows my wife, Meredith, would describe her as a kind, generous, loving soul who brings love and light and a smile to every room she enters. Her positive energy is infectious. I, for one, fell in love with her the first time I heard her sing. It was a demo reel that she gave to me back in college at NYU. She was singing Janis Joplin's A Piece of My Heart. And I gotta tell you, she took more than a piece of my heart. Meredith is a true warrior. Her tenacity and determination allowed her to have a full life in spite of the challenges that she faces regularly. When her condition worsened seven years ago and she was forced to take high doses of steroids and chemotherapy drugs to stop the disease from attacking her heart and her lungs, she did not let it stop her from moving forward and achieving her goals. Despite the agonizing battle that Meredith faced the following years on these drugs, she didn't let on to anyone how difficult her life had become. In fact, she did the exact opposite. She managed to graduate with a master's degree in psychology continued teaching, performed on a VH1 TV show with Rod Stewart, all the while being a full-time mom to our three amazing children. I was and I'm still am so inspired by her. Today, because of Dr. Wallace's work with Lupus LA, Meredith has the energy to maintain a successful practice teaching, singing, and songwriting, as well as writing and recording and performing her own original songs. In fact, two weeks ago, she produced and co-directed a concert to benefit pediatric uh, cancer inspired by our daughter's friend, Juliet, who, who's a friend, a musician, and a cancer survivor, and is also a student of Meredith's. According to Webster's Dictionary, the definition of a superhero is a fictional character with superhuman powers, such as Superman. Well, my superhero is not fictional and is not a man. My superhero is a woman with beauty, strength, and the grace of an angel. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome tonight's recipient of the Daniel J. Wallace Founders Award to my wife, Meredith Pagula. Okay, um, I never used a teleprompter in my entire life, so I will try to do this. I brought my paper as well. This is, I'm so overwhelmed, and uh, um, thank you. I, I, where's my husband? I love you so much. I, you can see I have had tremendous support and love in my life, which you really need in having a disease like this, because it's, it's, it's a tough road. And um, Kristen, uh, wherever you are, I'm not sure where you are, but that was absolutely beautiful and I was so moved. And Dr. Paul Hackmeyer, really um, honored to be in the company of both of you highly esteemed individuals. Um, so having my husband and my three amazing kids, Kai, Juliet, and Cole, the loves of my life, is what has really gotten me through having such a difficult journey. And um, truthfully, my life is really wonderful and blessed because of this love. And I love you guys so much. Um, and I'm so blessed that you guys are here. <sighs> Whew. Thank you, Lupus LA. Thank you so much for this incredibly meaningful award the Daniel J. Wallace Founders Award. I'm so thankful for all of the work that you do. You do such incredible work. I, I owe so much of my life to you. Thank you, Toby Burko and Adam Selkowitz, Megan Stubbs, Celia, Ruth, 
Catherine, Marcia Grant, and the fabulous board of directors. And finally, my own personal superhero, Dr. Daniel Wallace. I'd also like to say that this is just such an incredible party. <laughs> and um, I know that we've all had so much fun. My, my kids have brought their friends and I'm thrilled that they could have fun. They were all dancing to Justin Bieber over there earlier, so that was really cool. Um, okay, you guys can go out with a um, teleprompter, sorry. Thank you. Keep going, keep going, keep going, thank you. <laughs> okay, um, this is what happens when you're not really an actress. Um, it is so meaningful for me to stand before all of you incredible people who are in some way connected to this wonderful organization that serves to help lupus patients and hopefully find a cure, really, find a cure for this terrible disease. There's just not enough funds given to lupus and it's, it's not known enough. So please sp spread the word. I want everybody to um, have the experience that I have now because I'm actually doing really well. Um, being with all of you guys here um, feels like a breath of fresh air infused with hope in this really current, uncertain, and divided world that we're in right now. And I feel like um, I'm just grateful for all of your hearts and the fact that you actually want to help each other and, and help people with lupus. Um, to me, this is what it means to be a fully realized and evolved human being having this much compassion. Uh, four years ago, I presented this very award to an important and dear member of my healing team, Dr. Saram Singh Khalsa, who graciously joined us tonight. I love this man so much, and I'm um, so happy that you're here. Uh, it was such an amazing night, and now I am so grateful to be surrounded by my tribe, my family, and my close friends, my childhood friends, Runis, Chichi, A4, Auntie Heb, my dance teacher from when I was 10, Davida, my eighth grade math teacher, Bob, my incredible breathing coordination coach, who any of you who have lung issues, you must see Elizabeth Prescott. She's amazing, she's changed my life. Um, some of my awesome singing and songwriting students are here. Anna and Jackson and Holiday, and of course, my brilliant doctors and nurses who have so lovingly guided me on this difficult journey. I am both honored and humbled to receive this award that bears my amazing lupus doctor's name, Dr. Wallace. Dan, I have always admired you. I am so grateful for your dedication and your relentless curiosity and determination to figure out this lupus puzzle, your tireless search to find better treatments to make us healthier, and of course, ultimately, please God, to find a cure. Dan, I don't know if you recall this story, but um, about four years ago, my mom and dad and I were having lunch with you and Dr. Weinstein at Jerry's Deli, which of course is no longer there. But um, we were discussing funding needs for Lupus LA. And I told you that I decided that I was going to stop my 90-minute monthly infusions of Benlista, which was the newly approved um, lupus drug that you helped research and make available to lupus patients. And I had been taking this medicine um, for six months. And I was still having joint pain. I still was having muscle pain and fatigue and pain in my heart and my lungs. And I thought, I thought, what's the point of taking this drug that has these nasty side effects that isn't even helping me? And um, I lost all hope. And I will never forget, Dan, how you said to me, Meredith, please, just give it six more months. I promise you, your life will be so different. And you said to me, you won't even recognize your life. I will never forget you said that. You won't recognize your life. And then you said to me, please trust me. 
So what do you think I did? I followed my doctor's orders. I continued going for my monthly infusions, side effects and all. And about six months later, like magic. I became transformed. My days and weeks that have been filled with daily doctor appointments. It was like a job, daily doctor appointments, to get relief from the fatigue and horrible pain in my body could now be spent pursuing the dreams that I had put on hold for nearly 20 years. Do you know what a miracle that is? Thank you. I could finally participate in the world in ways that I couldn't before. Because of you, Dan, and your incredible, incredible work with Lupus LA, I got my life back, something that I never, ever, ever thought was possible, having been sick for most of my adult life. And now I have not only the determination and the desire to make a difference for others in this world, but I have the energy to support me in reaching my goals. Dan, the work that you have accomplished with Lupus LA teaches us that we must never give up hope and that there is indeed a better future for lupus patients and their families. Now, while my life is so much better, I still struggle with certain issues related to lupus. And Many lupus patients are not candidates for this drug. And actually, I learned recently that um, Benlista, although it helps me, it doesn't necessarily help everybody. Well, this upsets me, and it should upset you too, because I want every single person suffering with this disease to get their lives back. The fight is not over. We must continue to support Lupus LA and allow our funds to lead to measurable change, giving each and every lupus patient an opportunity to lead a full, happy life. All of us here are here tonight because we're touched in some way by this horrible disease. And I believe that we are all on this path together to not only find better treatments for lupus, but to find a cure. Dr. Daniel Wallace, you are my superhero. I am so grateful to you, and I would like to share this special award with you. And we can work out custody arrangements later. I want to thank you all so much, and thank you so much for your hearts, and thank you for being here, and I hope you have an amazing night. Thank you, Lufa Sele. Thank you. Thank you.